Now let us calculate the magnetic induction due to a large current carrying sheet. Here this figure shows the cross section of a thin large current carrying sheet which is carrying a linear current density I ampere per meter. That means in one meter length of the sheet, the total current carried will be I ampere per meter. Now in this situation, if we wish to find out the magnetic induction at a point P, which is located at a distance r above the sheet. Then to find out the magnetic induction at P from this point O, which is on the sheet right perpendicular to point P, at a distance x from point O, we consider an element of width dx. And this element of width dx will be considered as a long wire, which is of width dx located on the sheet. So the total current carried in this element can be written as di, which is equals to i dx. Now, due to this current at point P, if we find out the magnetic induction, then by using right hand thumb rule, it will be in a direction perpendicular to the line joining the point P and the wire. So, this will be the magnetic induction dB due to this wire, which is at a distance root of r square plus x square. So here we can write magnetic induction at P due to element dx is this can be written as dB and magnetic induction due to a straight long wire at a distance given as root of r square plus x square can be written as mu naught. The current here is I dx divided by 2 pi root of x square plus r square because the magnetic induction due to a long wire at a distance r is mu naught i by 2 pi r. So here current I have replaced by i dx and distance I have replaced by root of r square plus x square. In this situation this magnetic induction will have two components. If this angle is theta this is also theta this will be dv cos theta and this will be dv sin theta. In this situation due to the whole sheet net induction will be in horizontal direction. So, if we consider a similar element on the other side magnetic induction will be in downward direction and dv sin theta will cancel out and dv cos theta will be added up for both of these symmetric elements. So, we can write net magnetic induction at P is this BP we can write as integration of dB cos theta. If we substitute the values, this will be mu naught i dx by 2 pi root of x square plus r square multiplied by cos theta in this triangle. Cos theta we can write as r by root of x square plus r square and uh, the limits of x for integration will apply from minus infinity to plus infinity because the sheet is considered to be very large. Now in this situation this bp integral will become here we can take these constants out. So this will be mu naught i r by 2 pi integration from minus infinity to plus infinity this dx upon x square plus r square. And directly we can integrate this expression and this will be mu naught i r by 2 pi. This integral will be 1 by r 10 inverse of x by r, which is uh, having its limit from minus infinity to plus infinity. Here this r gets cancelled out and on integrating this value it will be 10 inverse infinity minus of 10 inverse minus infinity this will become mu naught i by 2 pi limits will be 10 inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus of minus pi by 2 is plus pi by 2. This will be pi which gets cancelled out with this final result we are getting as half mu naught i. This is again a useful result you can keep in mind which is giving us a magnetic induction which is uniform you can see this is a uniform magnetic induction above and below the large current carrying sheet in opposite direction. Above the sheet it will be in rightward direction and below the sheet it will be in leftward direction and it remains uniform. So be careful about the result.